Hello friends, I am Novin from WP Help Guide. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can easily translate WordPress themes and plugins using a free plugin called Local Translate. The plugin is very easy to use and you can translate your site into your native language. Without further delay, let's get started. Head over to your dashboard. At first, we need to install the Local Translate plugin. To do so, go to Plugins and click on Add New. In the search bar, type the plugin name which is local translate. Here you will see the local translate in the search result. This plugin is quite popular and has 1 million plus active installation. To install the plugin, just click on install now. And once the plugin is installed, click on activate. Once the plugin is activated, you will see a new menu called Local Translate in your WordPress dashboard. Let's first explore the setting of this plugin. To do so, go to Settings. Here you will find the setting for the Local Translate. You don't have to make any changes to the default settings. At the bottom, you will get an option to grant permission for different roles on your website. If you have many user accounts, you can check mark different roles whom you want to provide the permission to translate the themes and plugins. Now let's explore how you can easily translate the themes. To translate the themes, go to themes and here you'll see the list of themes that is installed on your site. In this case, I have four theme installed and I want to translate the Bilba Pro theme. So just click here and here in order to add a language file, click on new language. Now you have to select the language in which you want to translate the theme. Just click here and you'll see the list of languages. In this case, I want to translate this theme into Spanish. So I selected the Spanish language. Now you have to select the location where you want to store the language file. There are three different options available, custom, system and the author, which is the default one. I would recommend you to go with either the system or the custom. It is because if you select the author option, your translation will be lost when you update your theme as update overrides the language file. So in this case, I'll go with the custom and click on start translating. At the top, you can see the language, the last updated time, the percentage of the translation, total number of strings and total number of untranslated string, which is same since we haven't translated the theme. Now, in order to translate any strings in the theme, you have to just click the source text and it will display here and you have to add your translation here. So let's translate some of the strings. So in this case, I will translate the seer into the Spanish language. Since I don't understand the Spanish language, I'll use the Google Translate in this case. So let's go to Google Translate. In this case, English, Spanish and here's go with the word share so let's copy this one and paste it here once you add the translation text just click on save now let's translate one more text which is read more so search for read more click here and now let's translate this as well so copy the string and paste it here. Now let's save this one. Now in order to reflect the translation, one step needs to be taken that is to change your language into Spanish. To do so, go to Generals and in the site language, you have to select the language in which you have translated your theme. So in this case, I have translated the theme in Spanish, so I'll go with Spanish and click on Save Changes. Now let's refresh the site. We have translated two strings which was read more and the seer. So when you scroll down, you can see we have translated the read more text which is limas. And when we open this post and scroll down, we can see the seer text is also translated. 
So this is how you can translate the strings within the theme. The process is same for translating the plugins as well. So let's explore that as well. To translate the plugin, go to local translate, click on plugins. And here you'll see the list of plugins that are installed on your site. So let's translate the Blossom Themes Toolkit plugin. And here you can click on new language. In the language list, select the language, in this case Spanish. And here you can select the locations, which is this one. So let's click on start translating. And here you will see the list of strings that are currently on translated. And just like the theme, you can select the string or search for the string and add the translation. Once you do that, click on save changes. And when you refresh that, the changes will reflect on your site. This is all about translating WordPress themes and plugin. I hope this video was helpful. If you find this tutorial useful, please like the video and hit the subscribe button for more WordPress related tutorials. If you have any question or just want to share any thoughts, please feel free to let me know in the comments below.